welcome to this edition of Adopt a Pet. Stacy and I'm Janice, and you know, I'm always telling you we got everything here at the shelter. So we're starting today with a chicken. This is maple. 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 Maple's got a maple color, too. Yeah, we thought it was an appropriate name. Kind of like a uh, Rhode Island red mix. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> yeah, she's one of those, uh, those Burbank, Rhode Island Red well, at least it's not a pit bull chihuahua mix. So we do have some difference here. We do, we do. <laughs> uh, so Mabel came to us uh, as a stray. Um, so she was just wandering well, the neighborhood? kind of. Uh, <laughs> we actually went and found her up at one of the schools because some kids had brought her and they were uh, pretending to do fights with a couple of them. Oh, gee. So, uh, you know, good good opportunity to, to educate people and just say, you know, that's, that's obviously not a good thing. Um, and fortunately <laughs> for the hens, they were hens and they weren't roosters, so. <laughs> yes. And they're like, what the heck's going on? I yeah. don't get it. Yeah, but uh, we couldn't find the other one. So we found this one. Uh, she had gotten loose, we found this one. And uh, yeah, this is Maple. She is a hen. She's available for adoption here at the shelter. She's $5 to adopt. And uh, we definitely want you to look at your ordinances before you adopt a chicken. Right. Yeah. Um, we do allow chickens in Burbank, but uh, yeah, check out the ordinances before you, you think about it. And uh, yeah, she's available and you come down and meet her. And like every pet, do your homework yeah. because, you know, there's some unique uh, yeah. care of uh, chickens. Yeah. And they do make sounds too. I mean, it's not like, it's not just the roosters that make the, the sounds that aren't allowed in Burbank. I mean, chickens make sound too, so they can be disturbing to your neighbors as well. So just, just keep that in mind. Um, she's real friendly right now. She's letting me pet her. She's not the kind of chicken that's going to jump up on your lap for loving. You're going to have to catch her and then give her some loving because it took me a little while to catch her. But otherwise, she's pretty She's pretty sweet. What do you think? And most people want chickens because they want eggs. eggs. You know, it's nice, not, healthy eggs. It's not because you're going to curl up on the couch to watch, you know, NCIS with yeah. your chicken. Or play uh, bingo. It's because you want, uh, you know, eggs bingo is what chicken. most people want chickens for. So. Exactly. But which is not to say that if you're sitting at home right now with your chicken watching this show that we're poo-pooing the idea. We're just saying that that's not the normal reason people have chickens. No, it's not. <laughs> and a nice, organic, uh, healthy egg sets. That's, that's, that's a really nice. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and, yeah she, and she's a sweetie and she's waiting to go home right now and she's only five bucks. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. All right, baby. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's our first pet. That was our first pet. <laughs> now we're, now we're going to move around to something else. Yeah, we're going to come to a peacock. Common next. variety. You know. yeah. <laughs> Frogs, lizards. I don't know. What do we have to do now? <laughs> I thought about showing a, a turtle, a water turtle, because we have uh, about 20 million of those. So we have water turtles if you're interested in a turtle. Yeah, and if you have a pond, yeah, we'll be happy to. Uh, Adopt out a water turtle. We're, I'm sorry, we're watching the um, we're watching the next. The extrication cat. of a cat from a carrier. Actually, that can be entertaining in and of itself. Oh my! Oh, cat's like oh. Mm. Did we make the chicken go away? Yes. <laughs> Hi, Goldie. Mm -hmm. Hi, Goldie. It's okay. Oh. And the cat's like, there's some really strange just noises just coming out of that it's next carrier. I'm just going to tell you. Don't be chicken. It's just a chicken. It's okay. I'm pretty sure it's not a cat. <laughs> well, this is Goldie. Hi, Goldie. And but Sweetie, Goldie. Goldie's actually a boy, but we, did, we didn't name Goldie. <laughs> the owner named Goldie, but uh, Goldie is a boy. Uh, Goldie's two years old, and uh, he's a beautiful inside cat. Uh, the owner um, became health, had some health issues, became ill, mm -hmm. and she could no longer care for the cat. Uh, so she had to turn Goldie here into the shelter for adoption. Goldie has only ever been outside or inside, excuse me. Uh, he is good with other cats, which is definitely a plus. He's a very large boy. Mm -hmm. He's a big boy. I don't think I even realized how big you were. But um, no, he's a he's a really nice mellow cat. He's got a very very sweet meow. He's available for adoption now, and it's only seventy eight dollars to adopt. He's not neutered yet, but we'll go ahead and do that upon adoption. Look at the camera, baby. Look at the camera, but I, I I like the I like the orange tabbies. I like all of them, but I, I like the orange tabbies too. You good boy. Yeah, it'd be really nice to get him a home because he's been used to being in a home. Yes. And suddenly had he his, wasn't uh, happy being turned in. Yeah, yeah, I bet he wasn't. 
Yeah, and you know, she wasn't happy about having to turn him in, but uh, you know, by order of her doctors, you know, she had to she had to think about her health. So, and that's what we're here for for Burbank residents if something like that happens. Yep. Yeah. Um, you know, part of our services here. But uh, yeah, Goldie is up for adoption. We have lots of adult cats mm -hmm. right now, and we are going to have kittens galore. Um, I'm going to say about two weeks that if you're looking for a kitten, please come down. In about two weeks, we'll have definitely all that you can choose from. Um, and that's, that's well, we do want to get our adult cats home, so come down and have a look at Goldie. He's so sweet. All right, you ready? Thanks, Chris. Goldie's a handful. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Goldie could use a brush in. <laughs> We're going to get Goldie safely in that carrier before we bring on that next dog. Goldie says, could we get a bigger carrier next time? Yeah. Head first usually works. There we go. There we go. <laughs> like pickled beets. <laughs> Hi, Roscoe! <laughs> I love the teeth. Hi, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come and see us. Hi. Hi, bud. Hi, buddy. Hi, bud. <laughs> so, he doesn't. He looks like he has dentures in. Yeah, he does. He looks like that uh, commercial for that dental product for dogs. <laughs> Doggy dentures. Oh, yeah. dog. Hi. Buddy. So this is Roscoe, and Roscoe is an owner turn-in. He's actually um, been here since January 13th waiting for a home. Oh, and the other two dogs that he came in with were actually adopted, and he was the only one left. Mm -hmm. Which is funny because he was the friendliest one, and he's the one that he loves other dogs. And he's been a host uh, to a bunch of other dogs here at the shelter, and he's been a really good roommate to new dogs that are coming in. But uh, Roscoe is only five years old. He's a neutered male. He's ready to go home with you today. He's only $69 to adopt out, and he's very, very nice. He's just a nice dog. He's not a huge barker, but I think he would make a good watchdog. You know, someone knocked at your door, or if your mailman tried to put mail through that little slot, I could see him having a video. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what is that? But uh, he's a nice little dog, and, and we really want to find him a home because, oh, look at that. Look at that. Now that's, there's a watchdog stance if I ever Absolutely, saw. Absolutely, yeah. And, you know, he's a chihuahua, but I think he might have a little Jack Russell in yeah. there. So I might have something to do with it, a terrier. But uh, he's a good boy, and he loves to be on your lap, as you can see, and he just calms right down once he gets some loving. Good boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's a good boy, let's go. <laughs> good boy? You good boy? Oh, right. there goes the tail. Okay, buddy. Thanks, David. Bye, buddy. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, sweetheart. Maxwell, he's happier than he looks. <laughs> yeah, he's a good. He You're a little chunk. Chunk master too. Hi, Maxwell. What are you doing? Are you just like freaking out? Everything's okay. Everything's okay, buddy. So this is Maxwell, and Maxwell with was with us last summer, and he was adopted to very nice. Uh, a very nice person who took really good care of him and he had a second dog at home and I believe there was a cat at the house too and uh, unfortunately uh, that person found himself in a situation where they could no longer keep Maxwell mm -hmm. but it wasn't because of the dog it was because of their personal situation so he was turned back into the shelter um, he's fabulous with other little dogs He's good with kids, he's good with cats. He did live in an apartment, he was house trained, but they were also in a situation to take him out a couple times a day. So, you know, and he got on a schedule and dogs are really smart, you know, they they know when, you know, I'm gonna eat and I'm gonna poop at this time and, and my owner's gonna take me out at this time. So, you know, it's, you can have a dog like this in an apartment, definitely. And uh, yeah, just put him on a schedule. Look at a belly, look at a nice <laughs> belly. But uh, he's a he's a minpin. He's a purebred minpin. Uh, he does need to take off a a little bit of weight. <laughs> looks like Batman. He does look like Batman. He <laughs> does look like like the old dog Batman or the re real Batman. The real Batman. He's got Aww. the ears. Look at those ears. Mm -hmm. He's like he's got his little bat costume on. He's gonna go and fight crime. <laughs> <laughs> he could. He absolutely could. 
Absolutely. We'll make him a cape. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this is a, a fabulous dog. He's only $69 to adopt because he's already neutered. Well, you're a and, deal. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a nice boy, and we would like to find him a home and try to find, you know, this time a permanent home because, you know, when they go in and out of the shelter or in and out of rescues like that, it's very hard on them, and uh, it's harder to adopt him out every time, every round, because they're that much more traumatized. So it's really important that we find him a good permanent home today. Or soon. 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 Ready? Right, sugar. We, we're free and clear. Okay. Yeah. Good baby. <laughs> He's a little, big guy. Little min pin tail. Oh my, speaking of big guys. And here's the large version of Maxwell. Yeah. Hi, baby. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's okay. Buddy. Boop. It's funny because I call every dog Buddy, but his name's actually Buddy. Buddy. Yeah. Buddy. Buddy. A lot of smells. Come here. Oh, look at that. Look, look at Colleen. Hi. Hi. Hi, buddy. What are you doing? Oh, he's a good dog. Hi, bud. So, buddy is uh, buddy's a boy. Yeah, he's strong. He's like a moose. Here, we gotta come over here. He's like a big moose. Gotta come over here. He's People can boy. see your pretty face. Um, buddy was an owner surrender. Um, they. Uh, something happened with their house and so that he came here uh he is a senior dog he's eight years old so he'd be good for the senior for senior program he's not neutered yet but we will do that and he's he's only eight years old it's not like he's too old he's fine he's still spry uh for a larger dog he does need to you know sleep indoors on a nice cushy a nice cushy pillow. Don't um, we all? We do, we do. Yeah, but especially do. big dogs like this that, that you know, get prone to hip problems. And, <laughs> and senior here. dogs, they definitely need that comfort. They can't just spend all their lives outside on cement. That's, and just because they're big, it doesn't mean they have to be outside dogs. And uh, we, want, we want you to make these dogs part of your family. But um, Buddy is, he's good with bigger dogs and he's good with bigger kids. No little toddlers and no little toy breed dogs uh, and that's as per the owner okay so he's available now he has been for a while and keep in mind you know it's the seniors that senior large dogs that we have a hard time adopting out so if you're ever interested this would be a perfect time to come and pluck him up but uh, he is pretty mellow he's wonderful I and mean, he's not a barker he just is kicked back and we would actually let him go to an apartment um, if that's the situation that you're in because he would be fine in an apartment what a good guy. Yeah. All right. Buddy, you ready? Now that you're all relaxed. <laughs> now that I got comfortable. Now that you're all relaxed. Now that I got such comfy. a good boy. You're such a good boy. Come on. Okay. <laughs> yep. He says no. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Must die. <laughs> Funny. Everybody's got to stop and smell first. Come on. Come on. Hi. What's going on? Hello. Hi. Hello. Uh, this is Lorette, or there's a debate, Loretta or Lorette. Uh, <laughs> female, one-year-old Dash Hound Chihuahua mix. Uh, she came into us as a stray. She's amazing with other little dogs, which is definitely a plus. We think that she'd probably be good with kids. Uh, she's just got a really good personality. And we're actually surprised that no one came to claim her because she was well taken care of and she's sweet. Uh, but, which makes it better for you because now you have the opportunity to come down and adopt her. And uh, yeah, like I said, Lorette's only a year old. She's, she's pretty young, so she's still a puppy. Look how cute she is. Really cute. Look how cute she is. Hi. We have lots and lots of little dogs right now, and she's actually housemates with like three other little dogs. Yeah, so um, that's always a plus. So if you have another little dog and you want to add to the family, come come down and see her. And uh, and yeah, she's a good family dog. She's good with kids. So if you have kids, come down and bring them, and uh, we'll introduce. We have a little play yard in the back, and, and we'll introduce the whole family to her. Good. She's 104 Hi, to adopt, and she is available now. Huh. Says I'm ready. She's a good girl. And if you can go on um, the volunteer website or, or or the Burbank Animal Shelter website and look at the pictures that our volunteers have taken of her, they're so good. They're, they're perfect. It looks like a pedigree commercial. They're so beautiful. <laughs> the pictures are so good. Hi, baby. You ready to go? Mm -hmm. We're going to have Elsa come on. What do you think? What do you think? All right. 
The volunteers do a great job with those pictures. They're just amazing. They, they really are. They're so cute. They, they're amazing, yeah. Hi, baby. Just so many good smells. Yeah, you know, we don't have all those smells in our individual little pens. Yeah. <laughs> Elsa! Oh, what Elsa, a pretty, pretty beautiful, beautiful baby. Elsa, give me a baby. Okay. It's okay. Whoa. It's all right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, see? Hello. It's okay. Hello. It's okay. Yeah, it's Fine. all right. You want to go? Come on, Elsa. We gotta show you good side. There you go. It's okay, you go. It's okay. No, honest to goodness. It's okay. Elsa. <laughs> come here. Come here. Elsa. It's all. It's all. <laughs> so this is Elsa. She is spayed female. We actually had her spayed. She uh, came in as a stray. She's about a year and a half old. She's an Amstaff mix. And she's that very rare, beautiful champagne she's Amstaff. Gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, it's it's been called fawn. It's been called champagne. It's been called blue, which it's really really not blue. But that's not your side. Come on. So what are you doing? I know you're. I don't want to traumatize you. You're a little nervous. <laughs> Look how beautiful she is. And look how small she is. She's Very just petite. a tiny little thing. And she's full grown, huh? She's full grown. Yeah, yeah. she's a year and a half old. Uh, but she's just one of those smaller, smaller little girls and uh, very petite, strong though, as you can tell. She just needs some leash training, but she's actually very loving. She loves everybody. She loves other dogs. She loves kids. She's just, she's wonderful. She's got sutures here because we went out and we was, we spayed her. And uh, yeah, we like to do that when they start to come into heat, when they come into the yeah. shelter. But uh, yeah, no, she's wonderful and no one's come to claim her and she's been available since uh, March 9th. And yeah, she's beautiful. It's okay. It's okay. How about just, how about just, and Elsa is going to be our last dog today. You're our last baby. It's our so last girl. Cute. It's our last girl. Mm -hmm. So, do we have any tips or any important things? My well, goodness, it got so hot recently. It did get hot. Just when you all thought that it was, uh, you know, safe to have your dogs go around with you in the cars, it certainly isn't anymore. So, make sure you pay attention to how warm it is. Um, you may not want to take your dogs out with you because it gets so hot so quickly in the car. Even when it's like, you know, you think it's uh, cool in the car with just a window down a little bit, it gets so hot in there you can't believe. So it's not good to take your dogs with you when it, it's hot like this. And um, my goodness, I know it's only April, but <laughs> it's like summer. Well, it's like Arizona hot right now. So <laughs> keep that in mind. And but also keep that in mind when you leave your pets at home when you're going to work. Uh, you know, you can always freeze a nice ice ring with some toys in it and, you know, what, and, you know, treats in it and leave it out for them to lick, you know, if they're outside during the day. But it, it, it is, it's hot. And think about your rabbits outside. Uh, think about any animals that you have outside that are exposed to the elements like that. Even if they have shade, it's, it's a lot, and especially senior animals because they can overheat really quickly. Make sure they have plenty of water. and Yes. Oh. Nice, clean water. Make sure it doesn't have any... Uh, any uh, algae in it, how they get the, the green buckets and stuff. You want to make sure that it's definitely clean and clear. Yeah, people, you got to clean, wash their dishes just like we do our own, you know. Yes. Yeah. Every night, the water dish and the food dish, they got to make their trips through the, you know, getting their dishes clean just like uh, people dishes do. do so. Do. Well, we have some events coming up this weekend. Uh, you know, this Saturday is the. Uh, the uh, kitten shower at all the mutt. We talked right, about that. Right, and just on, to, on Riverside, just over Riverside. to the lake. Yeah. Yep. And then we have uh, the amazing event that's going on at uh, Story Tavern where you can bring your dog and have a beer and have a sandwich. And uh, we have tickets for sale, uh, $20 tickets for sale. And 100% of the proceeds go to our animal shelter. I have my tickets. Thank you, Story Tavern, for doing that. It's amazing. But uh, yeah, we have it's going to be a fun event. Wolf. We're all going to be there. Puff and Wolf's coming up. That's the coming up. police department has going Not on. Not this Saturday, the, but the, yeah. yeah. With the uh, canines and the um, horses. So, uh, you know, make sure you check out the city website and the volunteer 
website, all that good information out there for things going on involving the pets. So, and I want to I want to add too, real quick, when when you go on that website, please check out the foster kitten uh, volunteering process, and because uh, we need fosters really really bad right now, and even if it's temporary, we could definitely use you. See if you like it. See if you want to fit in. But uh, we really need you. So I know I keep saying that every month or every week, but we need you. So there you go. There you have it. We got chickens and uh, cats and dogs and tur water turtles and all kinds of things here. So make us your first stop when you're looking to add a pet to your family. Do your research, find out what works best for you and your family situation and come down and see us and we'll try to fit you up with a, a good pet for you and your family. And remember when you adopt a pet, you adopt a friend. Thanks for joining us today.